foot of the hill. But again, just keep keep varying it. Now at the base. In fact, there is a, there's a castle there. I, I don't know whether to paint it on or do it by taking the paint off. In fact, I'll put the castle in there. I'll just dry that first. Switch to the three quarter inch flat. And I'm going to go into the raw sienna. Just a little bit of burnt umber. A bit of ultramarine. And then something. Yeah, I mean. I've made the background the wrong colour there. There's, I've got no contrast now. I'll, I'll, I might take the paint off in a bit and do it the other way. What I might do while well, I've got that colour on the brush, no, well, I'll do it light of the reflections. Do is give that a little dab here and there. And then just make sure it's dry. Using the, uh, I might just switch to the rigger for this little bit. Dark colour, just a burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine. And I might just put a few little windows here and there. I've got one there. There's a door down the bottom. Just keep them very, very small. Some are up there, and then there's some around there. And another little window just down there. I think I'll, I'll leave that at that, just try and keep it subtle. I might even switch back to the switch back to the um, the flat. Just get a darkish colour on, and then there's. This little bit's in shadow around here. And then a little bit up there as well. That'll do for that. I'm starting to fiddle around now, which I don't like to do. So that's the little castle in. Just very simple. Now in front of that castle. In fact, what I might do, I might put some more... Uh, Put more of that green on. Just sort of re-wet this sort of area again. Maybe a bit darker. And then I'll just check, check the card. And there's some just tiny little buildings in the distance. 
I can just scratch those out 